Well, how y'all there? It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home of the sticks. And I hope everybody's having a show enough good start to a new week. But over here in East Central Mississippi, we're in the 80s and I'm still waiting on rain. Before we get started on today's video, I'm always going to say that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I show sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is Lord of mercy, it's time. I got to start killing some of this evil brush that I have growing over here. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Give me a second, and that's what we fit in the do's. <laughs> Dan, do what? You finna do what? Well, I'm here to tell you, over here at the home in the sticks on the farm, I have a ton, a ton of things that show enough grow over here that I don't want to grow over here. By the way of poison ivy, kudzu, and wild blackberries. Over there on that fence row right there, that is nothing but kudzu, but I think I'm gonna leave that alone because kudzu, as an invasive as it is, it actually makes a real good uh, retaining wall, so to speak, but it's just some awful stuff. I also have a lot of wild blackberries, or as we call them over here in East Central Mississippi, briars. And this whole bank right here is filled with nothing but wild blackberry briars. And I'm here to tell you, you get tangled up in that stuff, you finna get cut up. I'm here to tell you, you're gonna be bleeding by the time you get out of this stuff right here. And there's a good shot of the wild blackberries and briars and as a matter of fact i got a bunch of blackberries coming out i hate to kill you but this stuff right here is awful it's invasive and it will smother down any kind of plant that you try to grow i also have a lot of this stuff growing over here and this is dog fennel got to get rid of it and back here behind my shop this is nothing but poison ivy all over the place and i'm highly allergic to it but that's poison ivy right there so I got to get rid of that. And I got a lot of it growing back here. So what I got to do is I got to spray it. Well, let's walk over yonder and I'm gonna show you uh, the chemicals that I'm gonna use. And yeah, I got to use chemicals over here, herbicides to kill this stuff back. I hate it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to spray those herbicides. Well, look at there. What I have invested in is a four gallon chapin sprayer and this is a rechargeable 20 volt lithium battery uh, operated sprayer so there's no hand pumping and uh, i hear tell that this is a really good piece of equipment so we're going to try it out what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to hook up my 25 gallon spray rig just to spray the perimeter uh, of the farm over here so we're going to try this uh, four gallon sprayer and see how it does i think it's going to work out good some key notes on this sprayer and I really like it. For one, it's rechargeable, has a 20 volt lithium battery, which plugs in right here. And more importantly, this spray rig has three uh, stages of filtration, if you will, or safeguards to filter everything. The first one is inside here, and I'm not gonna open it up, but there's a strainer inside of here, that's one. The second one is a strainer inside the hand wand itself, and it's located right here. May do a video on that uh, down the road, but there's a strainer in here. And inside the actual tank, there is a strainer that sits down at the bottom on the back end of the pump. You actually pull it up and it's got a strainer on it as well. I'm losing light, so we got, we got to get to spraying. The two chemicals that I'm gonna use over here are some Bionide Brush Killer or BK32. And the second is some Pasture Guard HL. Now, both of these chemicals are designed to be used on broadleaf uh, species of plants. And that is everything that I have grown over here, broadleaf. It's two ounces of each chemical uh, to a gallon of water. I have four gallons of water uh, in this sprayer. So basically eight ounces each in this sprayer. I've already got the sprayer uh, filled with the chemicals. I've got it primed, got the battery installed. We're going to get it on and I'm going to show you how this thing sprays and I think it's going to do really good. Uh, before we get to spraying, the sprayer actually comes with two tips. 
two spring tips. It actually has a fan tip, which is, I hope you can see it, right there. And it also comes with a brass tip, and I would imagine that's just like squirting out straight. I, I don't know. But I'm going to use a fan tip. Uh, this backpack sprayer will run for about an hour and 75 minutes on a full charge. I don't think it's going to take me that long to spray it, but we're going to find out. So, uh, let's get to spraying. Turn this guy on. Let's see if I can get this spray rig on without killing myself. All right, whoo, that's got a little weight on it. All right. Let's get to spraying and see what it do. You notice with this pump, once it's primed up, it, the pump's only going to run when I'm spraying. I'm sure you can hear it. So oh, ain't nothing but poison ivy back there. That stuff right there will eat you up. I'm here to tell you. I like that it's got that fanning mode on it. It really gets it out there pretty good. And what I'm doing is I'm actually jiggling my back a little bit just to mix it up while I'm spraying. All right, we done run through about four gallons of herbicide, and I'm here to tell you, worth every penny that I spent on this sprayer. And guess what? I can't wait to load it up and do it again, or spray again. But I'm here to tell you, I hate using any type of herbicides over here at, uh, on the farm, but a lot of this stuff that I have growing over here uh, will either stick you, poke you, or make you itch or just make it impossible to grow anything because it's so invasive it wraps itself around whatever you're trying to grow and it, it won't grow. So yeah, it is what it is, but we got some spraying done today. Now cleanup's pretty easy and you, you, it's almost imperative that you wash this thing out, especially if you're using herbicides in the sprayer, but that's pretty easy. Uh, here's the first filter system. The second filter system is this little thing right here. I hope you can see it, but I'm not going to pull it out because all the water's going to leak out, but it's down in there. And all we're going to do is just run this thing until clear water comes out. And it actually is. Got some fresh water in there, and all we're doing is just purging the lines of all the chemicals. So pretty easy to clean. Well, all right, there you have it. That's what old Dan wanted to share with you and y'all today, Lord of Mercy. Uh, somewhat review on the uh, Chapin uh, backpack sprayer that runs off the 20-volt lithium battery. I think it works uh, really, really good. It's got real good runtime, hour and 75 or something like that. But I think that it's going to work out really good. We're just going to have to see uh, how those chemicals work on all that stuff uh, behind my shop being poison ivy, dog fennel, and uh, brars. I think a combination of both of those chemicals should knock that stuff out. I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm gonna have to reapply or respray uh, down the road, but that's okay. Uh, this is pretty much a test uh, for the chemicals and the sprayer. Uh, my little disclaimer, I'm not uh, sponsored by Chapin or anything like that. I'm just an old boy that needs to spray a bunch of stuff uh, over here at the home of the sticks. So again, I hope everybody's having a show enough good start to the week and I hope everybody stays safe amid this crisis that we still have going on. If you uh, like this video, go on, give it a thumbs up, they help. If you haven't subscribed to the home of sticks channel, Law of Mercy, y'all need to come on over here and give old Dan a look because I'm always doing stuff like uh, spraying with a backpack sprayer now. With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan reference show enough, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You show enough, get your shine on, get your grow on, spray a bunch of stuff if you need to around the homestead. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.